Hi YouTube, I'm back with another video today and today I'm going to show you how to overclock the AMD 5350 processor. Now anyone that's bought this processor, um, you can sort of in the software, they've got like um, CPU boosts and stuff, but you literally get like 0.5 gigahertz overclock. So I was like, right, what can I do um, to maybe make it do a bit more? So first I installed an Arctic Alpine M1 cooler um, and removed the fan as well. And I just upgraded the fan slightly. Although this cooler is really good. It doesn't need the fan upgrade. It's just helped me drop it a few degrees, like an extra five degrees cooler on my temps. So that's why I did it. But um, yeah, run it all again on the software, same overclock. So um, I decided this time I was going to have to have a little play in the BIOS. Now this, I think, only works with the two Asus motherboards for the um, AM1 socket. So if you've got another motherboard, you probably have to reinvest. But I bought my um, AM, was it the AM1MA, whatever it is, box where it's up there. Um, that was only £25 anyway, so if you want to overclock, it's not really that much extra to spend. So first I'm going to show you the software, um, um, the BIOS, show you in the BIOS all the settings that I've done, um, and then I'll just show you it running on the computer for proof as well, so you can sort of see all that from the screenshot. Um, and it has been pretty stable as well. There's a couple of times it said failed overclock um, within the first sort of 10 boots, but I've had it running for like two, three weeks now, and it's been really, run really well. Um, with this overclock as well so let me take you in for a closer look and show you how you can achieve a 23% overclock on your AMD processor okay once you're in the BIOS um, you need to go to advanced mode I'm just gonna zoom you in a little bit so we can see the screen a bit better get you all set up um, and then AI tweaker it's up at the top um, you'll see it in the tab sorry I shouldn't have, should have waited till I zoomed in but then you see how we're here we have the target CPU speed of 2.520 um, gigahertz and then target DRAM speed of 1.6 gigahertz but I'm going to talk to you about the DRAM in a second. So first you need AI overclock tuner set to manual, APU frequency it needs to be at 120, memory frequency I would recommend for the first couple of boots um, until you've got it, you feel like it's stable and running nice, set to um, 1279 megahertz. Then see if you can push it back up to the um, 1600 megahertz that I've been able to. The APU multiplier needs to be set to 21. APU voltage set to offset mode. And then the CPU offset voltage needs to be 0.12500. And that is it. That is all you need, and then you will have your overclock. So then you exit, you'd save changes and reset, and then you'll boot, which I'll boot now. So here you can see it all running. Um, I've opened up the AI Suite 3, gone to Turbo V Evo, because you can do the settings on it in here as well. I just wanted to show you it on the BIOS because um, it's a bit more friendly, it's sort of what I'm used to. Um, you've got the APU frequency set to 120 megahertz, the ratio to 21, showing that we're getting that core speed, um, the CPU voltage as well, and the DRM voltage, and then you can see that it's just kicking up to 2.52 .2 megahertz, that's about a 23% overclock. Um, due to the cooler, the CPU temperature at idle is always running between about 25 and 32, motherboard's at 28. Um, and I did a bit of video editing and it didn't really go much past 45 and I haven't checked it for gaming yet because um, adding a graphics card is the next thing to the system. So there you go. Here's how you can um, add a 23% overclock.